Hi, this is Katie Barber, and I'm here to talk about my Wicked Problem Project for CEP 812. Uh, here's the problem. The problem is Investigations in Number, Data, and Space. It's a program that was based on, is based on experiential learning for mathematics. It's great for the lower elementary school, but it does not do so well in fifth grade. Uh, we have a pretty traumatic transition to middle school that happens because they go into a much more paper and pencil based program. Investigations typically gives about one or two problems for each lesson, uh, which is a whole day of lessons. So the transition can be really terrible. Uh, investigations was originally such a supplemental program that there's also no resources for differentiation for high students or low students or skill builders or anything. Uh, so my problem is, how do I help these students become more self-motivated about their math? Well, I figure, add some technology. So what are my solutions? First of all, I explored Khan's Academy. It's a free program. It has excellent, very simple lessons that are chunked into small pieces, which is perfect for fifth grade. Teachers have the ability to check students' progress and in a number of ways when they sign up as the student's coach. The only little bump I ran into was that it's quite hard to assign goals to students. Gizmos was the second one I explored. Uh, it's by Explore Learning. It's excellent interactive simulations where students can play with all sorts of ways to experience math and science. Unfortunately, it's quite costly, even for a single teacher. Mathletics was the clear winner in this um, category. We are lucky enough to have this program at our school. It's extremely comprehensive and easy to use. Uh, students ha have a huge amount of buy-in uh, with rewards and avatars that they can have. Uh, teacher resources range from printed contacts, specific books, to lesson planning. Teachers are very much in control and it's very easy to monitor the progress. Lastly, while looking around for different things, I found three different resources that I know I'll be using in the future. The first one was Mr. Nussbaum. It's a game-based website that's very, very comprehensive. It has everything from language arts to math. We find the math particularly interesting. IXL is a drill-based internet activity site. It's highly recommended to lower students who are struggling with any sort of math problems and their parents can easily monitor them and it's not cost prohibitive. Lure of the Labyrinth was the real surprise. I found this by accident and it's a very age specific game based on pre-algebra but a fantastic one and so far my students are completely addicted. So now how does all of this apply to TPAC? Here are the key TPAC points that I thought of. Uh, the content in these online math, math programs is presented in many ways. They could start with problems, move to a lesson, which provides a larger variety of problems in different formats. And if the students feel confused, there are tutorials or videos, and of course, games, which keeps them interested. Um, through online videos, lessons, tutorials, games, and interactives, students are able to manipulate and visualize mathematics in a way that enhances their understanding of specific math content. So it's a perfect combination of pedagogy, math, content, and technology, all at an individualized student's pace. And how is this going to help my students? These are the participants. Here's a picture of my kids. Uh, students become more self-motivated with the math. They are looking at sixth grade coming up. Um, they're looking at catching up on all their skills and making sure everything is brushed up. And our school has a pretty competitive sixth grade advanced program, which the students need to test into and show that they're motivated enough to be in the program. Uh, why else is the technology great? It's portable. The, we have netbooks, which admittedly are not the best, best technology, but they can go with the kids everywhere. These kids can play wherever they have Wi-Fi. They can play these games. They can do the lessons, and they can be motivated about that. Uh, number three, it's all self-paced. There's checks for understanding. There's lessons. There's tutorials. The kids can go back and look at their work. 
Um, and number four, they're completely monitored. Uh, this I can look at as the teacher at their progress, at the scores they're getting, at the amount of time that they've spent on different problems. And it's just, technology just makes math a lot better. So, in summation, that's me. That's my Wicked Problem Project. I had a great time doing it. The kids had a great time doing it. And I learned a lot about how resilient fifth graders are and how they adapt to change so well and how they really, really appreciate listening to their input. So I hope that's good. And thanks. <laughs>